Dr. Abraham, I'm from Scam Advisor, and uh, we get a lot of questions on how you can check if a website is legit or uh, possibly a scam. Um, so, first of all, of course, you can use Scam Advisor to, to check if a website is uh, legit or a possible scam. I mean, it's, it's very simple. You just type in a website name, oops, and hit enter. And then we already check what is the possibility of this website being legit or a scam. And as you can see, we're, we're rating this website quite poorly. Uh, we got a lot of complaints about this website. Um, so we think that the chances of it being a possible scam are, are quite high because we give it a score of 1%. Um, we also always check if there are reviews uh, online to be found. And uh, we also provide you with a lot of other information. If you scroll down, you see possible highlights and negative highlights. And in this case, we found several negative points. Um, and the, the big ones are that the registrar, the company where you register the name, is being used by quite a lot of spammers and fraud sites in our view. And in this case, the website is very young. And that's also always a, a risk uh, you take as an online shopper. Um, but I mean, of course, Scam Advisor is not the only way to check if a website is legit or a scam. Uh, if we go to this website, then there might also be other indicators you can use to determine if the website is, uh, is, is a fraud. Uh, in this case, it's now middle of February, um, and this website is still celebrating Christmas, which is, of course, great. Uh, but it also means that this website is no longer maintained. And, uh, that that is a, a clear indication that yeah at least uh, that the website is is not active and not maintained well. Uh, what are other uh, things you can look at? Uh, to give you another example, uh, we also received quite a few complaints about uh, this website, uh, and the first indication is it's not using a domain name of its own. It's using my Shopify, and Shopify is an e-commerce platform. Uh, being used by thousands and thousands of webs uh, of companies to to build their own webshop, um, and they offer uh, a free service, um, and uh, that makes it quite attractive uh, for a lot of scammers. And especially this company is not using a domain name, domain name of its own; it's using get say dot myshopify dot com, meaning that they uh, they didn't spend any money on, on buying a, a website name for themselves. And that's also a clear indicator that, yeah, something might be going on. Uh, another way we look at websites is if you scroll down, nearly all the websites have a About Us page. And a trick we uh, very often do is we, we copy, copy the, uh, the first part uh, of the About Us uh, text where you don't have anything specific to the website. And we Google it. So we go to google.com and we search for the text. And notice that I'm putting things between brackets uh, to, to check. And then we see that the same we love every passion uh, and interest on earth is used not by one website, but by many, uh, by Mary Mead, by Vonk, by, uh, well, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that means at least that this company uh, is uh, yeah, using the same text for many, many websites. And again, this might be an indicator that the website is a scam. Um, let's go to another website uh, uh, to give you some tips on how to identify possible scammy sites. So also this website we received complaints about. And one of the few indicators we have is uh, they are selling very many different products. They're selling bags, toys, men, women, but also televisions and, and, and tools uh, like Makita and DeWalt. That's a real, yeah, a little bit weird ma uh, mix of, of different products. And uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that the website is a scam, but for us, it's an indicator that it might be. Um, then, we have a saying in, in the scam world that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And in this case, um, they're selling a Sharp 40 uh, television um, and uh, for a remarkable price. I mean, this is really, really, really very cheap. So what we usually recommend people to do is just to Google the same product. Let's go here. 
And then we see uh, uh, different prices. I mean, these are for microwaves and even they are already more expensive. But if we go to, uh, let's see, Best Buy, which is a well-known company, then the, sh the same television is offered for nearly three times, four times the price. So this price cannot be true. It's too good to be true. Um, another way we identify possible scammers is, is looking at their terms and conditions. And we always recommend if you go to a new website, make sure you check the terms and conditions. So if we go here, then uh, you see their terms of service and you go through it. Um, and I think I now went to the wrong part. Yes, refund policy, sorry about that. The refund policy is of course very important. And what you read here is, I mean, usually, especially also in Europe with European law, you have the right to return a product within 14 days without any questions. Um, and here they say, we accept returns on products which were shipped to you, uh, but only if it's a fault uh, or an error uh, on their side. Um, uh, I mean, it might be legal in their country, but in Europe, uh, it's not. You have the right to return a product within 14 days without any questions. Of course, you have to return it uh, in a good state, but you, uh, you can refund it always. So please uh, do check uh, their refund policy and, and terms and conditions. Um, let's go to another website uh, to see another way you can check if a website is legit or not. So this website we also receive quite some complaints about and what we always also do is uh, we see if we, we, we try to see if there are any social media uh, icons. In this case the icons are missing completely and what we always recommend is do not only check if uh, the website uh, has social media icons, please also click uh, on them. Because what we often see with scam websites is that they don't go anywhere or they go to uh, Facebook and Twitter, but not to an account related to this company. Um, this website is also offering several payment methods. And also there we recommend you to always and ever pay with PayPal, pay with uh, your credit card, if they have good uh, and easy way to, to get uh, your money back if the product is not delivered or you have a problem with the product. Uh, please take care that once you order on a website and they, they say that they're supporting these payment methods, that you also actually pay with them. Uh, a very common excuse is that uh, they're using, uh, they're saying that uh, the credit card uh, uh, feature is not working at the moment, please pay via wire transfer. I'm not saying that this website does that, but we uh, see it across a, lo a lot of other websites. Then another tip I would like to give you are related to reviews. So we came across this website and it states a lot of uh, media like Vogue and Marie Claire are discussing them, but you cannot click on them. So we don't see any proof that they're actually named as a, an online shop in these magazines. They also refer to Trustpilot um, as a website where they got a lot of happy customers. Um, but you again, you cannot click on it. You uh, cannot double check. So we always then go uh, to Trustpilot. And in this case, that's this URL. And then uh, it tells us a completely different story. Uh, this website uh, has a lot of negative reviews um, and is not recommended. So. Apart from that, we always also recommend you to, to, to see if you can contact the website. And here you, you do see something like support, so you can contact them, but only via email. And we prefer uh, uh, or we recommend actually you don't uh, buy from a website where you cannot find a phone number. Um, finally, uh, going back to Scam Advisor, um, if you have any questions or you want to double check, please uh, go to uh, scamadvisor.com first to check what we already know about the website. I hope these other tips helped you to check if a website is legit by checking their terms and conditions, uh, knowing that if something is too good to be true, it probably is. 
Um, if you need any other help, we also offer a lot of content you can, uh, you can check. Uh, we offer a lot of tips and supports, how to recognize stamps, uh, scams, uh, research. Um, and that's it. And finally, uh, again, if something is uh, too good to be true, don't buy it. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon.